If you want to play Valheim with friends and not only alone, there are three different options. You can either host a local server and invite friends, rent a server or you can set up a dedicated server. I will show you all three options, how to set them up and also how to forward your ports in the firewall and the router. If you only need to know about one of these options, check the video chapters and skip forward. If you are mostly playing alone and only want to invite a friend to your world every once in a while, or if you are always playing at the same time, then it might be enough to host a local server. To do this, just go to the Worlds tab in game and before you get into your world, choose Start Server and set a password. Now join your world and invite your friends by using the Steam Friends tab or let your friends join in directly. This is the easiest way to play with others, but it also means that the one who is running the server always has to be on the server as well. If you want to be able to play independently of each other, you have to set up a dedicated server or rent a server. To set up a dedicated server, you have to download the Valheim dedicated server app from Steam. You own it when you bought the game, but it's not installed by default. So just go to your Steam library, search for Valheim and install the app. Next up, you have to edit the config file for your server. Browse to the Valheim dedicated server folder that you will find in Steam library, Steam apps, common. Where the Steam library is depends on the install folder you chose in the Steam settings. To check it, go to Steam, settings, downloads and then Steam library folders. Once you've found the Valheim dedicated server folder, there's a file named start headless server. Right click on it and go into editing. Here you have some general info on how to choose your password and which ports you have to open later. But what's interesting for now is the last line, cause here you set up your server. After name, you type in the name of your server. This name will then be shown in the Valheim server browser if you set it to public. World is how you want to name your Valheim world. If there's no save file with this name in the save folder, a new world will be created. If you want to keep playing with an already created world, then you have to insert the exact name of the existing world here. To do this, you need to find your Valheim save files on your computer. By default, they are located at C, Users, your username, App Data, Local Low, Iron Gate, Valheim and Worlds. I have a world called Cat's World here, so if I want to keep playing with this save on my dedicated server, I have to write Cat's World into the config file. Then you set a password for your world, so no one can join except for the people that have the password. And if you want your server to be hidden on the in-game server list, then add minus public zero to the line. Save your changes and close the file. I would recommend to make a backup of this file once it is set up, cause Steam will set it back to the default values after each update. Once you've done this, you have to open the necessary ports in your firewall and your router. I show you how to do it in the Windows firewall, but each antivirus has a similar option to open ports. Search for firewall and open check firewall status, then click advanced settings. On the top left, you have inbound and outbound rules. This is where we have to add four new rules now. So click inbound rules first and then new rule over on the right. Choose port, then TCP and type 2456 to 2458 in the field. That means that ports 2456, 2457 and 2458 are open now. If you wonder where I got these ports from, they can be found in the first three points of the config file I showed you before. Next, be sure the connection is allowed, that all three rules are chosen and then give your rule a name, for example Valheim server. Finish this rule and repeat the steps a second time, but with the difference that you choose UDP instead of TCP now. The ports and everything else is the same, also the name can always be the same. When you're done with the inbound rules, go to the outbound rules and repeat the former steps. Again, two times. One time for TCP and one time for UDP. Just be careful that you click allow the connection as this is not chosen by default for the outbound rules. Everything else is the same. The port forwarding in your router is similar, but as there are so many different products with different interfaces, it wouldn't make much sense to show you how I've done it in my router. Just check how you can do port forwarding with yours. The important thing is that you always make two rules, one for TCP and one for UDP and choose all three ports, 2456, to 2458. 
Once you've done this, double click on the Valheim dedicated server icon and wait until it completely booted up and says Game Server Connected. Now you should be able to find your server by its name in the Valheim server browser. Alternatively, you can also check the Steam server browser. Just open Steam and click View and Servers, then go to Favorites and add a server. Then type in localhost double dot 2456 and click Find Games at this address. If it says server is not responding, just try the other two ports. Your server should be available at one of them. Once you've found it, add it to your favorites so you can join in easily. When you're done playing and want to stop the server or want to restart it, be sure to always stop it by pressing Ctrl plus C. If you only close the window, the server might still run in the background. If you don't have the possibility to run a server on your PC the whole time or you don't want that, you can rent a third-party server. There are loads of different providers with different prices and options, so just check what is available in your country and what fits your requirements. I rented mine at cheapportal.net and I'm very happy with the server and the support they give, but no matter what provider you choose, the settings you have to make are mostly the same. There will be an interface where you type in server name, world name and password and you can also add your save games to the server. To do this, you will most likely have to install an FTP client like FileZilla with which you can connect to the server and upload your save game. The access data can be found in your account and will look similar to mine. Just copy them to your FTP client, connect and copy your save files from the folder on your computer into the folder on your server. Where you can find the folder depends on your provider and there should be a guide on how to add your save games. Once you have successfully uploaded your save files, disconnect from your server and reset your password. Don't forget to change the world name in your server settings to the name of your save game so the server knows which world to start. If you can't get a connection with the FTP client, you probably have to open more ports in your firewall and router. The default FTP port is 21, so this one should definitely be open and you should also open the port named in your access data. Just follow the steps I showed you before to forward the ports. When everything is done, you can again find your server either in the Valheim server browser or add it to favorites in your Steam server browser. And that's all for today. I hope this tutorial helps you to set up your Valheim server and play with your friends. If it did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. Until then, thanks for watching, I am the Catwoman and you are awesome.